Now is an exciting time in the motor industry, and Toyota has a lot of new innovations coming down the line, which will provide lots of options for zero emissions driving. The automaker is leading battery technology development and has over 20 years of battery expertise through working on its self-charging hybrid electric batteries. You might have heard of solid-state battery electric vehicles, and they will be the next big game changer for sustainable driving, which Toyota has been working on for at least a few years now, alongside their hybrid electric range. So let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Toyota's new solid-state batteries, which have just been revealed. So let's get started. After launching the Toyota BZ4X this year, Toyota expects to unveil its first mass-produced EV with a solid-state battery by 2025. In 1991, Sony introduced the lithium-ion battery to the world. This new technology from the Japanese revolutionized the way people use batteries. Three decades later, Toyota and Panasonic hope to introduce the next generation of battery technology for automobiles. In February 2020, Toyota and Panasonic announced the establishment of a new joint venture company called Prime Planet Energy and Solutions, specializing in automotive prismatic lithium-ion batteries. Now, the JV company's business scope includes the development, manufacture, and sale of solid-state batteries and other next-generation automotive batteries. So, what exactly is solid-state? Well, as the name suggests, a solid-state battery consists of, well, solid electrolytes as opposed to liquid. This prototype batteries are about the size and thickness of a thin spiral back notebook, and a solid-state battery technology is a potential cure-all for the drawbacks facing electric vehicles that run on conventional lithium-ion batteries, including the relatively short distance traveled on a single charge as well as charging times. So, solid-state batteries are set to become a real alternative to lithium-ion batteries, and manufacturers are focused on using a sulfur-based electrolyte in its prototype, as it provides a more efficient power transfer. They would lower the risk of fires and multiply energy density, which measures the energy a battery can deliver compared to its weight. In addition, next-generation batteries such as solid-state and metal-air batteries are safer and demonstrate higher performance than lithium-ion batteries. Now, what is Toyota planning to do with this battery technology? Toyota is in the leading position in terms of achieving the first functional mass-produced solid-state battery, and they are planning to be the first company to sell an electric vehicle equipped with a solid-state battery by mid-2020s. The company has been working on this since 2012, with over 200-plus highly decorated and skilled engineers working tirelessly to produce these batteries. And it's coming to fruition, as they now have over 1,000 solid-state battery patents, more than any other car maker. In the interview, Gil Pratt, Toyota's chief scientist and head of the Toyota Research Institute, said that Toyota is aiming to commercialize its solid-state batteries in the first half of this decade. Surprisingly, Pratt said that the first Toyotas to receive the new batteries will actually be the hybrids instead of the fully electric vehicles. In addition, Pratt outlined a couple of reasons why Toyota intends to debut solid-state batteries in hybrids. Solid-state batteries are, at the moment, more expensive to produce, he said, and since hybrids have smaller battery packs than EVs, implementing them in hybrids first will reduce the cost. The other challenge facing solid-state batteries currently is battery life, with repeated charging taking a toll on early prototype batteries. In a hybrid, the smaller battery is charged and recharged far more often, and Pratt suggested that the increased amount of cycling for the batteries will make the hybrids a good testbed for the new technology. We want to start by putting them in vehicles where we believe that they are both the most well-suited in terms of lifetime, but also that will exercise them sufficiently so that as costs continue to come down, we can roll them out in the future in battery electric vehicles also, explained Pratt. But what does it mean for drivers or the end user's point of view? Well, it will be like a trip of 700 kilometers on one charge, a recharge from zero to full in roughly 10 to 15 minutes, all with minimal safety concerns. Amazing, right? The solid-state battery being introduced by Toyota promises to be a game-changer, not just for electric vehicles, but for the entire industry. The electric vehicles being developed will have a range more than twice the distance of a vehicle running on a conventional lithium-ion battery under the same conditions, all accomplished without sacrificing interior space in even the most compact vehicles. Apart from this, recently Toyota announced it was bringing a breakthrough battery technology to the market, the bipolar nickel metal hydride battery in the Japanese market Toyota Aqua. It's worth mentioning because even though Toyota spent a lot of time in a recent presentation outlining its solid-state battery investments, which we'll cover in this video, the historically conservative automaker is hedging its bets, looking for incremental improvements, and investing heavily in older technology as well. After all, nickel metal hydride isn't state-of-the-art like solid-state batteries are, but the bipolar battery shows that it's worthwhile to invest in proven economical alternatives to the next greatest thing. 
That's not to say that the actual meat of the news here about solid state batteries isn't worthwhile. It just puts in the context of the broader Toyota battery development program. In addition, Toyota announced a $13.6 billion investment in battery technology spread out between research and development and production equipment. After all, Toyota has a long-standing policy of keeping battery development and production in-house, though utilizing partners like Panasonic, and its solid-state battery tech is no exception. So if you need a refresher on why solid-state batteries are so important, potentially a game-changer in the EV space, you should follow the video. But there are kinks to iron out. The solid electrolyte material surrounding the battery cells has, in Toyota's testing regimen, developed gaps that affect battery performance and service life when utilized in battery electric vehicles, or BEVs. That's why, at least initially, Toyota will implement the tech in hybrids, or HEVs, where the issue is less of a concern, while simultaneously developing it further for BEVs down the road. The batteries are on some roads now, actually. Engaged in a real-world testing, and Toyota has whipped up a solid-state battery-equipped version of its LQ concept, which has registered for street use in Japan. Presumably, it's one of the several mules running around gathering information about solid-state battery tech. In addition, Toyota has a number of BEVs in the works, promising 10 new lines of these vehicles by 2025 and a further 10 per year, totaling 70 lines of BEVs through 2030. It will spend the vast majority of its battery investment to support this build-out of BEV lineup. Total production capacity is intended to be flexible, able to accommodate 200 gigawatt hours if needed. Therefore, Toyota hopes all its BEVs will benefit from its various battery strategies, as it attempts to use advanced lithium-ion and solid-state tech to increase efficiency by 30%, using that improved efficiency to reduce battery costs by the same amount in the near future. The company is hoping that further advancements increase the efficiency and reduction in the cost by 50% by the second half of the 2020s. This could be crucially important for introducing lower-cost, mass-market BEVs. But Toyota, as always, is hedging its bets. Although the BEV investment is massive, Toyota still envisions most of its global fleet to be HEVs by 2030, with around one-third of that fleet being BEVs or FCEVs and a much smaller slice being PHEVs. What the mix will be in individual markets isn't clear, but you may imagine that China and Europe will offer more BEVs, while the emerging markets will get a heavier HEV mix. However, what proportion of total production will be electrified versus traditional internal combustion engine powered isn't clear. And Toyota still clearly believes its HEV strategy overall, despite its recent and arguably belated BEV push. It claims that the 18.1 million HEVs it has sold globally since the original Prius made its debut have the same overall carbon dioxide reduction impacts as 5.5 million EVs, all the while using the battery components necessary to build 260,000 BEVs. That is to say, using these small batteries smartly has an outsized impact. But Toyota is no impartial observer, and perhaps the company's turn to BEVs is telling. So we're going to see the fruits of the strategy in the production 2023 Toyota BZ4X, a battery electric SUV that rides on the company's eTNGA platform and is the first of 15 BEVs that Toyota has promised to have on the market by 2025. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.